Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 20th of August, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, what do you need to know for the week ahead? Currently we've got gold trading around 1,507 US dollars per ounce. And we'll get right into it this week. Essentially what we are looking for this week is a rotation back towards the six year high. So we've actually been taking advantage of these pullbacks in price since Monday, where we have dipped back below 1,500 US dollars per ounce. And we're essentially anticipating during the minutes of the FOMC this week, and also later on in the week, we have the Jackson Hole Symposium, the annual symposium, where we are going to have Jerome Powell speaking on Friday, we are looking to take advantage of a range bound trade here, breaking back towards the upper end of the range. And essentially I'm looking for a revisit back towards the six year highs here on gold and taking advantage of any dips in price. So in the latest week, we have seen hedge funds and money managers, they've trimmed their net long positions, but only ever so slightly. And we could in fact see that buyback this week as we've seen another pullback back below 1,500 US dollars per ounce. For those of you who watch our week ahead reports as well, you would have noted last week we banked over 1,000 points on gold over four positions. So we've continued to take advantage of this range bound trade action with gold each time we're dipping back towards 1500 or below, using that as an opportunity to buy back into gold and then take advantage of that usual breakout. Now, another point to note, which is a cycle we're seeing quite frequently at the moment on the precious metals is where they tend to put in their low of the week over Monday and Tuesday. The US dollar today is in fact broken out to three week highs. That put further pressure on gold overnight. We revisited 1,493 US dollars per ounce. And since then we broke back above 1,500 earlier on today. We're now trading around 1,507 US dollars per ounce. Essentially this week, we want to watch out for the tone from the minutes of the FOMC and also the Jackson Hole Symposium. So we really want to see what the overall future trajectory of interest rate cuts is going to be. And we want to get a clear idea from Jerome Powell's speech on Friday as to whether the Fed are more likely to go ahead with a quarter percent interest rate cut at their September FOMC meeting. So traders are now pricing in over an 80% probability that we will see that. We've also mentioned it before that you want to track silver as well. So silver sold off on Monday. It's now starting to catch a bid to the upside, breaking back above $17 per ounce. We've seen recently very strong correlation between gold and silver prices. So often on the lower time frames, silver is leading both to the sell side and the buy side. You want to keep an eye on that. Silver broke out earlier on in the session, back above $17. Gold then followed suit, breaking above $1,500. We're building positions at these levels right now. We'll start protecting these trades today as well, ahead of the minutes of the FOMC, so that we bank some profits, partial profits, and we will have those trades protected. And also going into the Jackson Hole Symposium later on this week, over Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but then Jerome Powell is due to speak on Friday. As I've mentioned before, typically the month of August is very much a bullish month anyway for gold prices. So we are expecting the potential for more upside between now and the end of the month. And we'll be looking out for a potential tap of first of all, the swing highs around 1,545 US dollars per ounce, and then eventually a breakout back towards that magnetic level of $1,550. But for the time being, we're taking advantage of these dips lower in price around the 1,500 level, and we are expecting another rotation back towards the upper end of the range. But as always, be nimble. Make sure that you're taking some profits off the table as you go, especially as we get closer to major news items, the minutes of the FOMC, which are due out on Wednesday at seven o'clock London time. Then on Friday, we have the Jackson Hole Symposium and we also have Jerome Powell scheduled to speak to. And look out, as always, for announcements from Donald Trump as well with his reaction to the Federal Reserve, because that can be a catalyst for some really big moves as well. So with that, that's been Gold Asset of the Day and I wish you good trading.